Ever wonder how to integrate Vercel or Heroku with GitHub Actions for Next.js applications? Well, if you do, then look no further as you're in the right place. In this video, we'll go over how to create a basic GitHub Actions workflow for Next.js applications and how to integrate Vercel and Heroku into GitHub Actions so that deployment to Vercel and Heroku becomes possible through using GitHub Actions workflows. Note that we'll be using uh, Next.js application for this tutorial. Uh, namely, we'll be using this following Next.js application in this GitHub repo. Uh, I'll include a link to this GitHub repo in the video description so you can access it. Um, so first, uh, as for the setup of this sample application, this is what we'll be using. Uh, but feel free to follow along with any other Next.js application. Uh, the content shouldn't matter much because we're mainly concerned with the Actions section. And uh, to start, you can start by forking the project uh, into your own GitHub account and then clone it. Uh, you clone it by entering, running the command git clone and the URL, which you can get from here. Uh, once you've done that, you can uh, import the project into your coding workspace. So for this uh, video, I'm using VS Code as my coding editor. <clears throat> and once you CD into your uh, application, we can run the npm install command. Um, this is done so that all the dependencies in the application can be installed. Once that's done, you can um, run npm test if you want. MTM test will run some just uh, tests that we have of uh, the application. Uh, if you're not interested in the test, so we have 13 tests that are passing, <clears throat> and these tests will be run once we uh, work on the workflow as well. Uh, so once you uh, run MPM install, we're uh, done setting up the project, so now we can get to the main portion of the um, this tutorial. How to set up a basic Next.js GitHub Actions pipeline. So setting up a basic GitHub Actions pipeline is pretty straightforward. Uh, there are some st uh, steps involved uh, which we'll go through right now. So back in this uh, repository page for which the link has been included in the description, we can start by going to the Actions tab. Here we can click on the new workflow button and scroll down to where uh, you find Node.js and click the configure button. Once you find this button, what you have to do is add a command um, or rather a replacement of this CI command instead of npm CI um, type npm install. So this is done so that instead of running CI we have to install the dependencies that are present in the application. <clears throat> this is required because as the next step you're running npm build uh, and the build uh, is going to require in, uh, dependencies to be installed beforehand and we finish it off by running npm tests to run our um, tests that are present so once you make this change, uh, you can click the start commit button, uh, give it a commit, and then click on new commit. Once you do that, you would have created a new file, a new workflows file in your uh, remote repository. In order to sync your remote repository with your local repository, you have to go to your terminal instance, which is our next step. Once you CD into your local uh, repository, what you have to do is run the following command. git pull origin master. As my version has not been changed, it's saying that it's already up to date, but yours uh, would fetch the newly created uh, workflow file into your local repository and merge it so once you merge that, then we have to run git add git commit added 
um, give it a description such as um, GitHub Actions Workflow File, something like that. And then we can push to master. So once we push to master, what's going to happen is that this GitHub Actions is going to be triggered. As you see here, it's orange right now, meaning that it is queued and running. It'll take a couple of minutes to complete. And while it does complete, let's go through a um, previous uh, run that completed successfully. So here we can see the detailed view page. And we can see all the steps that it went through. Um, don't worry about deployment to Heroku, that will be covered. Uh, in the later uh, stages of the tutorial. For right now, we're just concerned with uh, running a basic workflow. And as you see, it'll uh, complete in due time. But that is basically how you set up a big uh, GitHub Actions workflow for Next.js apps. How to integrate Vercel with GitHub Actions for Next.js applications. So welcome to the next section. So this section will be focusing on how to integrate Vercel with GitHub Actions. Uh, here are the steps for in, in order to do so. So first you have to log into Vercel.com. Um, the login process is pretty simple. Uh, once you log in, click on Create New Project. And what you have to do is import a Git repository. So in this uh, GitHub repo that I've mentioned in the video description, what you can do is fork it into your own account, and then you'd have your own uh, repository that you can reference right here. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be using this repository, and it's already imported, so I won't be importing it uh, additionally, but make sure to click import uh, for your forked project or if you want to follow along with a different application uh, feel free to do so. Uh, once you click import you'll come to this next screen where you have to press uh, click deploy. Once you click deploy it'll take a while but it, after that it'll allow you to create a project in your Versal dashboard. Uh, it should look like this. Once you've done that you can go to the terminal window and here, what we have to do is we have to install Verso um, using their CLI. So to do that, we use npm install dash g for global, so that we can access access uh, Verso anywhere in the uh, terminal, regardless of location. And then we type Verso. Uh, wait for this to finish, and. Um, also, I should note that there is a way to do it to integrate Vercel with GitHub Actions uh, as a step. This is um, not as encouraged. I think it's more of an outdated way of doing things and it's a bit more uh, complex because you have to define a lot of uh, keys, uh, secrets and API keys. Uh, what you're seeing here is the Heroku version, which we'll cover in the next section. But uh, for now, doing uh, using the Vercel CLI to deploy to Vercel is, I think, much easier and much less time-consuming. Once the installation has been completed, just type Vercel, and it's going to deploy the application uh, to Vercel. Since I already have it set up, it's not going to go through a setup process. Uh, but normally, when we go uh, use the CLI for the first time, this is the uh, process that takes place. So it asks you to log into Vercel using GitHub OAuth. Uh, once that's completed, uh, you do you want to set up and deploy the application? Yes or no? Just pick yes. And once that's completed, that should finish the process. Uh, as you see here, running Vercel deployed my application to this uh, Vercel link. And uh, that is basically it. It's a very simple process. 
and with do it with doing so you can deploy Vercel into um, the Vercel dashboard and it uh, does not necessarily use GitHub Actions, uh, but as you see here, uh, Vercel deployment has completed. Uh, so there is a CI CD pipeline being built, even though it's not technically GitHub Actions. How to integrate Heroku using GitHub Actions for Next.js applications? Add the following code snippet to your uh, workflow YAML file. So this step is using the Heroku, it's a um, Heroku GitHub Actions uh, workflow and it's using a customly built, custom built um, GitHub Action and copying this and pasting it to our YAML file that we created uh, in the previous steps uh, allow us to deploy to Heroku. So first, once you've pasted it into this YAML file, um, there are a number of other steps that we have to do. So first and foremost, uh, we have to go to Heroku and create an app. So just log into Heroku.com, uh, click on New, click on Create App, give your app a name, and then click Create App. Choose the region that's closest to you, I'm not going to create one since I already have one here. Once your app is created, uh, you have to go to uh, account settings. And then here you have the API key section. So whenever we deploy to Heroku, we need our GitHub Actions to uh, have our uh, Heroku API key. Uh, that needs to be embedded in the GitHub Actions um, settings. So just click Reveal. I'm not going to reveal mine because that's private. Just click Reveal on yours and copy that. Once that's copied, uh, what we have to do is we have to go to GitHub, uh, the uh, application GitHub page. Then we click on Settings and we have to set a secret. A secret is an environmental variable um, that is used in the uh, environment of the GitHub Actions um, build system. So when, whatever we define here as an action will be saved as a secret. As you see here, we have Heroku API key saved as a repository secret. If we go over here, we can see secrets.heroku API key and that is done to ensure that we match up with this uh, key value pair. I'm not going to update it because that would expose my private key. But what you have to do is click on new repository secret, give it this name, Heroku API key, uh, make sure to include the underscores and type it in exactly, and then copy the key you have here into the value section of right here, and then click add secret. Once that's done, you're ready to um, install Heroku locally on your ter terminal if you don't already have it installed. So to do that, uh, what you have to do is go to this link. I'll include this link uh, in the video description so you can easily find it. But basically, it allows you to install the Heroku uh, CLI. Uh, for example, this is if you're using Linux. Um, if you have NPM installed, you can use uh, NPM to install Heroku globally. So once you follow these steps, I think you, all you have to do is run this command. So we'll just run that command. Uh, once you have Heroku installed uh, as a CLI, uh, what you have to do is type Heroku login. Just run that command and um, it's going to allow you to log in. I'm not going to go through it because I've already done so but it's going to use it's going to pop up a browser and you just have to log into Heroku. Once that's done, uh make sure you're in the uh Heroku or the um repository, local repository directory and we have to type the following command. So it's Heroku git remote a and then the name of your app. So in my case uh what you have to do is go to your app 
click on right here this is my app and this is my name this is the name of my app you just copy that paste it here and just click enter um, this is yeah so it's already set and just to confirm so what we've done here is we've set up a remote uh, called Heroku on top of our origin remote so if we go remote V for verbose we can see origin and Heroku so whenever we type git push Heroku master this is going to our Heroku repository not our Git, uh, github repository but since we're using github actions this won't be necessary we won't have to do Heroku because our action right here pushes or deploys to Heroku for us um, additionally you can put in your Heroku email although that is not required as you can see from here uh, <clears throat> uh, this is the deploy so the actions is done um, now all we have to do is run a git add git commit with a message uh, added this uh, st step to node.js.yaml github actions workflow and then all you have to do is run git push origin so let me uh, in order to test this we'll make a slight change so sometimes you might run into an issue where what you change in this yaml file doesn't get picked up and if that's the case run uh, this command and it's basically uh, directed towards adding that file into github sometimes it, uh, it, it doesn't get tracked as you see here once I specifically explicitly mentioned that I wanted this file added and then committed then my file got uh, saved as a commit now all we have to do is git push origin master because we've already defined an action that will handle the deployment for us so once we click, uh, once we enter uh, git push origin master, we just go to our GitHub page right here, and you can see that our node uh, CI build uh, GitHub actions is queued. And now, in order to validate this, we can go to our GitHub actions, and the previous time didn't work for some reason let's quickly see why it didn't work deploy to Heroku um, yeah so there's there's a uh, dependency conflict of some sorts anyways that's not relevant to this tutorial I'll refer to a previous uh, working build where deployment to Heroku was successful so as you can see with this green check mark uh, you can see the logs right here and our Next.js application has been uh, completely deployed to Heroku after pushing to origin so that's pretty amazing and it just goes to show that GitHub Actions is very helpful and is a very powerful CI CD pipeline and um, build tool thanks for watching my video Hopefully you now know some features of GitHub Actions and you know uh, the basics of GitHub Actions and some instances of how to use it. Uh, hopefully uh, you learned something and if you have any questions, concerns or constructive criticism, uh, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you if I find time. Uh, if you found this video helpful, uh, please consider um, liking my video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, that's all for now and I'll see you in the next video.